Coming up, we'll be doing a high level player guide. Hey guys, it's Gman here back at again a Dragon Veil guy video. Today is a high level player guy video, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy this and hopefully you can learn from this too. So first thing you need to know though before we get on into this though, this is recommended for level 70 and above. If you're not level 70 and above, this might not work for you. But if you're below level 70 and above and this does work for you, then that's good. That's good that it helped you out. But uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's head into my uh, testing island and guide island and I'll help you out with this. So let's go teach you guys some new stuff. Okay guys, now that we're on my testing our guide island, I'm going to teach you some guides on how to get XP fast, gems fast, gold fast, and also crystals fast. So this will help you get all those stuff really fast. This is meant for high level players and hopefully this does help you out. So the first one we have is actually going to be on XP. I'm going to teach you a few methods on how to get XP really fast. So yeah guys, let's get started though. Okay guys, so we're going to teach you how to get XP fast. So, this is going to be a really easy. There's a few ways of getting XP fast. I listed it down to two different ways. So, what goes my first way? This will require a lot of gold, guys. More gold than I even have right now if you're level 70. So, if you have this amount of gold and you're level 70, you could probably get yourself to 125, if I'm not mistaken. And you also need double XP too. Keep that in mind. So, you're going to need a lot of gold and double XP for the first method. So, what you want to do is go to the market area. You want to go to the decorations. You want to enter in fire and get the volcano decoration. Then you want to turn on double XP and set that up. So once you have double XP, a volcano decoration, and a lot of gold, you're going to want to do this guys. You just want to keep doing this. You want to keep buying the decoration and selling the decoration and keep doing this for a while. And you'll get a bunch of XP from this. You can actually see how much XP I'm getting from that. That's pretty good. And you keep doing this, you'll get a lot of XP over time. So this is one of the methods you can use to get XP really fast. It's not the fastest way, but it's a pretty good way. But this one requires gold and double XP. Now, the next thing I'm going to recommend is this one. This one is going to be what you need will be food, a lot of food, a lot of food, gold, and also dragons. So you're going to need a lot of dragons for this one. This one is the best method to get XP. This is the second method too, so just keep this in mind. It's that you go to a dragon in any of your habitats that's level below 20, and you just take it up to the max level. So let me find my uh, level not 20 dragons. I have a bunch of dragons level 20 already, so this is going to be a little bit hard. Uh, here we go. Perfect example. Perfect example. I can't say anything. Okay. So I've taught you guys the first way to get XP really fast. This is the second method. The second method is just by leveling up all your dragons to level 20 or as many dragons as you can to level 20. This will give you crazy amount of XP. And you have double XP on, you'll give you more than that. But you're going to need a lot of food, a lot of gold, and a lot of dragons. And double XP too. So if I was just to do this, I would get a crazy amount of XP. You can see how much XP is going through the bar right there. It doesn't say how much I get, but it's more than the volcano decoration technique. So I recommend this. So now that I taught you how to get XP really fast, what I'm going to cover next is going to be about gems. I'm going to teach you how to get gems really fast. Okay, guys? So let's get started. Okay guys, here is my next thing we're going to talk about is about gems. How to get gems really fast. I listed it down to two different methods. If you want to count the Coliseum as the third method, you can. But that takes some time. With this method, you can get even more of these two. So the first method, the best method to get gems really fast, is to actually have a lot of friends. You can get friends by either signing into Facebook and adding people on Facebook for friends on Dragonville. I just go to community sites for Dragonville and add a bunch of friends there. And then you'll get a bunch of friends from them each and every day. And that really does help. And then you can send them gems back too. And the more friends you have, guys, the more gems you get. I have over 3,000 gems, not 3,000 gems, but 3,000 friends on Facebook. And they give me more than 100 gems a day. So this method does really help out, guys, and I do recommend it. But uh, yeah, so this is one of the best methods, but it's not the greatest. It does it does do its job by helping out people in the community and helping you. And yeah, but there's another method that can just get you a bunch of good amount of gems too. So let's first introduce you to somebody. Let's introduce you to the Mr. Topaz Dragon. Mr. Topaz Dragon is actually the easiest gemstone dragon to breed. He's my favorite dragon too, one of my favorite dragons. But uh... He's easy to breed because of the fact there's only a few dragons you get from this outcome and all of them have very short breeding times and when you get a topaz dragon you know you got a topaz dragon because it has like a one day breeding time and up. So we're going to do the gemstones to show you guys the breeding hint for it and yeah and this dragon only comes around in November please note that down so when November comes around 
if I'm not mistaken, to November, then get this dragon as many as you can get. That's what I did for like one whole year. All I focused on was in bringing back was getting a bunch of these topaz dragons and getting a bunch of the habitats or using the gemstone habitat and upgrading it. And I recommend this. Just get a bunch of these dudes. These dudes are awesome and I do recommend it. So this is the second best method you can do. The third best method, the third best method is probably using the Coliseum and doing it every day, making sure to enter an elder dragon to match up with the element. And I'll give you five gems every day. So that's another good method, but it doesn't give you as many gems as having friends topaz dragons and yeah that's uh, th that can't really beat in those two methods so that's how you get gems really fast guys so next thing we're going to talk about is talk about gold how to get gold really fast okay guys so now we're going to talk about how to get gold really fast guys there's a few methods of gold really fast i've listed it down to two different ways there's a third way which is kind of like really cool to do but it requires gems to do it so I'll teach you guys the third way first, just in case you have like a crazy amount of gems you just want to get rid of and get a bunch of gold. This method is actually by going into the market area, and if you're a max level player or later level 70, you'll get a crazy amount of gold for just clicking 50 gems for this amount of gold. I don't recommend this, but you can if you want to. I don't usually do it unless I really have to to get gold, but if you're trying to get a high level XP, that's probably a good thing. But um, this is one of the good things about it because you can use this to get food, you can use this to get dragon habitats upgraded, but uh, it, it's it's not the best method. The problem is that the price you pay for getting that gold, it's just 50 gems for that much gold. It's not it's not that good. It's not that good, guys. I'm going to be quite honest here. It's not that good. If it was like um, the gold amount I had in my uh, dragon park right now, then yeah, that'd be, that'd be cool. That'd be fair. That'd be like that much gold for 50 gems. Yeah, that's a deal. But uh, the amount you get from this right now, guys, in the game at max level, even you can see at max level is not that good. It's based on level and how much you get. So it's not that good to do this. So that's the third method of getting it. But let me tell you the first two methods of getting gold really fast, guys. So the first method is by having a lot of epic dragons. This is pretty easy to do. You can just get a bunch of rainbow dragons and stuff like that since they're so easy to breed. Because when you get a rainbow dragon, guys, the first time around, you're more likely going to get another rainbow dragon. And if you just get a bunch of rainbow dragons in your habitat or a bunch of any kind of epics in your habitat or any rainbow dragon and mostly rainbow dragons are going to be like the good ones you want to get. Just get a bunch of rainbow dragons of one kind and just... Place them all on one island and make a whole island dedicated to rainbow dragons and you'll be set. You'll get a bunch of gold for day. I saw somebody on Facebook. He said he'd get more than, um, what was it? What was the amount? He said he got a bunch of gold from just having a bunch of rainbow dragons. I don't remember the exact amount, but he just did that. And I do recommend that. I do that for my park. I actually just keep all my epics organized. So I get a good amount of gold in my park. So let me show you how much gold I get from this. So I got more than a million. I got more than a million. I got like two or two million or, um, Maybe that was two or three million, but uh, just getting a bunch of epics, guys, and set them on one island dedicated to that, that can give you a bunch of gold. Now, that's the first method to get yourself gold really fast. The third method is by, let me see, what was it again? I gotta remember. Oh, yeah, it was by going into the rift. So, it was going into the rift, guys, and actually breeding with the dragons. So, if you're going to the rift, guys, you get some pretty good dragons and stuff like that, and you can insta breed dragons, meaning like you automatically breed a dragon straight off the bat you don't need to wait any time so right now it's like 5,000 for me right now but since we're doing this for an example today we're gonna show you guys so you get a good amount of gold from actually selling these dragons so I get myself uh, 1 million five hundred thousand so yeah one million five hundred thousand from this and you just keep doing this every day just go to a thousand guys and crystals and don't spend any more crystals like when you saw me do right there five thousand was not worth it but um so spend one crystal every day and just sell the dragons and just do that and you'll get a good amount of gold and a good amount of xp too so this can be another good method but the best method really is to just make sure to use the normal one method is to get a bunch of epics or rainbow dragons rainbow dragons and um set them into an island dedicated and dedicate one whole island to rainbow but uh, yeah guys that's how you get gold really fast next we're going to be talking about rift and talking about how to get crystals really fast so stay tuned for that it's going to be really exciting stuff guys okay guys so the final thing we'll be talking about for this high level player guide is how to get crystals really fast for your account so just note this is the only method I know of right now that you're allowed to get crystals really fast and this is a recommendation I recommend to all players. Even if you're level 70 and below, you can still do this and get a bunch of habitats. The big method here is getting a bunch of habitats in the rift and clearing out the fog and stuff until your habitat or habitat or whatever you want to call it rift. It looks like this. When your rift looks like this, guys, and you have a bunch of habitats in it, you're pretty much set to get a bunch of crystals. And I do recommend this. And begin the game, just get as many habitats. Don't care about getting the dragons. Care about getting those habitats in the rift. 
once you hit level 28 just get as many habitats as you can be set to go and yeah so this works for level level players low level players and also high level players but once you get to a certain point guys you're going to get a certain amount of pricing for your habitats and make sure once you get a bunch of enough habitats like i have 48 of them right now and that's what i focused on i focused on only getting the habitats I did spend some mega mysteries, but that's a, that's another thing. But once you get enough habitats, like 48 of them, you're set. And then just keep saving up until you get all 55 of them. So I just recommend this, guys. This is like the best way to get crystals right now. And just make sure to buy as many habitats as you can in the beginning of the game. We unlock the rift. So yeah, guys. So this concludes our high-level player guide video. If you did enjoy this, though, make sure to smash that like button. Stay tuned for more of my videos, bro. Excuse me. If you did help you out, let me know. If you want to hear a high-level player mistake video, like uh, what mistakes high-level players do, please let me know, and I'd love to hear. So yeah, guys. I'll see you guys next time. G-Man, out. Hey, guys. If you did enjoy the video today, make sure to smash that like button. Stay tuned for more of my videos, broskies. If you do want to subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. Make sure to dragon punch that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. G-Man, out.